Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, we're going to talk some boxing, but before we do, I want to read something for you from Mark 12. So, if you guys know me by now, I always share a little something, something that's spiritual, you know what I mean? And they came on to Jesus, certain of the Pharisees and Herodians to catch him in his words. And when they came, they said to him, Master, we know that you are true, and you care for no man. You don't regard the person of man, but you teach the way of God in truth. Is it lawful to give tribute to Caesar or not? Shall we give or shall we not give? But he, knowing their hypocrisy, said to them, Why do you test me? Bring me a penny, that I may see it. And they brought it. And he said to them, Whose image is this? And they said to him, Caesar's. And Jesus answering said unto them, Give to Caesar what is Caesar's, and to God what is God's. And they marveled at him. See, people will always come like snakes, trying to expose you as a hypocrite. But what happens in the end is when you start to break that truth to them, then they will marvel. Let's get into the boxing. So, I've been thinking about this Floyd Mayweather-Conor McGregor fight. I've seen Conor McGregor fight twice against Nate Diaz, and I'm not impressed by him at all. He gets caught with check hooks, and Nate Diaz would set up his straight left and hit him with it, and even with his right and right hooks. I saw Nate Diaz was able to beat him at the stand-up game and then get him to submit once on the ground. In the second fight, the same thing was going to happen, but Nate Diaz ran out of time. Now, he did a little better, that's Conor McGregor, in the second fight in that he was using these foot sweeps or foot kicks to Diaz's chin, shin. So, he swept the first three, but... From the, the last two, Nate Diaz came on strong. I was going to stop him. And I think to myself, if Nate Diaz, who's not a professional boxer, if Nate Diaz, who's not quick, he's not sharp, he's not fast, if Nate Diaz could beat this kid, why is he even trying to get in the ring with Floyd Mayweather? And then I thought about this. Conor McGregor has never fought past five rounds in his whole entire professional career in MMA or in boxing. Because in the amateurs, you only have four rounders, three rounders. So let me put this into perspective for you guys so you can understand what I'm saying. In short, Conor McGregor is what we call a debutante. A true, in the true sense of the word, dude don't got the conditioning to go six rounds even. He'll have to do a four-rounder with Floyd Mayweather. Now think about this. What sanctioning body in their right mind is going to commission a bout that's a four-rounder with a guy debuting in his pro career who was beaten by another dude who wasn't even a pro boxer and on top of that, dude ain't got no elite quickness, speed, conditioning to handle the very best boxer of the era. Does that make any sense? We Listen, man, let me tell you how bad that mismatch is. Remember we were all talking about Danny Garcia being a cherry picker and fighting Rod Salka and that looked terrible? Imagine they commissioned this bout 
which will be not a 12 rounder, not a 10 rounder, not even an eight rounder, hell, not even a six rounder, it'll be a four rounder. Shoot, this is a worse mismatch than Danny Garcia Rod Salka. It's a worse mismatch than Julio Cesar Chavez versus a debutante. It's worse than that because whereas Chavez, yeah, he was the dude of his era. He was pound for pound fighter and he was fighting debutantes as world champion. Floyd Mayweather was the pound for pound fighter for years. Seven years. More than any other recent pound for pound fighter. Mike Tyson finished it off in 1989. Shane Mosley had a couple. I think he had about four. You know, Oscar De La Hoya had three. You know, Roy Jones Jr. had three. Bernard Hopkins had two. Right? Floyd Mayweather has the most pound for pound rankings per year. This dude is going to now fight who? A dude in Conor McGregor? A debutant? Less than a debutant? This is that's a huge step up for Conor McGregor. He don't have the quickness. He don't have the speed. He don't have the sharpness. I don't even think he has the power to, to do anything to Floyd Mayweather. That's to tell you how terrible it is. This is a ridiculously mismatched match fight in which if they're going to be boxing and Conor McGregor, there's not, I've looked at the fight. Conor McGregor doesn't look like he can do anything to Floyd because he doesn't have the quickness. He doesn't have the speed. He doesn't have anything. He doesn't even have the sharpness. He doesn't even have the defense. He has nothing that could actually trouble Floyd Mayweather. And the more I look at it and the more I start to investigate into it, is this should never be sanctioned. This can be an exhibition match, if, you know. But to sanction a four-rounder, that doesn't make any sense. And this needs to be a four-rounder. Four this should not be... If you want it to be a five-rounder, fine. Because at least Conor McGregor will be comfortable in his conditioning with that. And he gasses out in three rounds. All right? Conor McGregor gassed out in three rounds. And you catch him good, he, he, he's stunned. And Floyd hits plenty harder than, I believe, Nate Diaz does. Plenty harder. Remember, Nate Diaz doesn't have protection of gloves. Okay? And... Believe you me, a professional boxer, if they were to hit Conor McGregor with the shots that Nate Diaz was hitting, would break his jaw, break his jaw clean off. All right? I know a professional boxer who punched another one at the end of a fight. He punched him, sucker punched him, and uh, broke the guy's jaw, broke out some of his teeth, busted up his gum, his tongue, his lip. The guy was gushing blood through his nose. That was one punch the guy hit him. And the guy wasn't a knockout puncher. Okay? Boxers are dangerous. That's why they have to wear gloves with padding. It's not just to protect their hands. It's also to protect the other fighter from severe injury. Okay? Floyd Mayweather, obviously, he has bad hands. But if he were to hit Conor McGregor with his bad hands, flush on the jaw, he would break it. Okay, because boxing is a totally different sport to MMA and striking. And the guys in MMA, the guys in UFC, they don't have those thick gloves that Mayweather and all these other guys fight with. In other words, heavier gloves. Heavier gloves can knock you out faster, but they're also more padded. See what I'm saying? Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Um, I think if they want to have it as an exhibition match, great. You know, have it as an exhibition match. Any sanctioning body sanctioning a fight like that, they're out of their mind. Okay? They're out of their mind. And it's kind of disgraceful to the sport of boxing. Because while it is crossover we're talking about and it's amusing, to put that as a boxing fight, I think is to... To make Chavez look so good. Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. looked really great. It, you kind of validate. Oh, Julio Cesar Chavez was alright, man. He fought a debutante. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. It's no longer padding. You know what I mean? So, I hope Floyd Mayweather do, that doesn't get sanctioned. I, I'll be honest with you. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. I've, I've reflected on this a couple of times. And I'm thinking to myself... Yeah, I would love to see this fight go down for the money and the events and the extravaganza. 
And even if you have a good fight card where you have, you know, UFC fighters facing, you know, fighters who are boxers, that'd be awesome. But to tell me that this needs to be sanctioned by the WBA or the IBF or the WBC or the WBO is just to, no, 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 don't do that. You know, uh, no commission, New York State Athletic Commission, Nevada, uh, California, no commission to really sanction this bout. But what I would say is it's a fun bout to have just for the environment, the event, and so on. I just, I mean, kind of got no shot whatsoever of beating Floyd. Max Kellerman is absolutely correct. After I saw Conor McGregor fight, he ain't got no shot, man. He ain't got no shot at all, you know. Um, I don't know what he thinks, but <laughs> he obviously needs to work on his speed, his quickness, his accuracy, his defense. Uh, so many things he has to just work on. And, I mean, he can't even make the fight rough and tumble. Marcus McDonough is faster than him, sharper than him, uh, just all around or better anything. Even, I would say, I would argue Marcus Maidana, he can't kick and all of that, but he would be much more trickier than, than, than a dude like that because it, uh, Conor McGregor, while well, he's a southpaw and all of that, what's he going to do? He doesn't even throw anything at awkward angles or anything like that. He's very conventional, and his defense is just a mess. So I would, I, I, I got to say this again. This ain't something, like, I sized up the dude. I even thought... Maybe he could use some of his jiu-jitsu and MMA fighting skills, you know, uh, Wing Chun and so on. Just forget about it. Forget about it. Dude's too slow. He's way too slow for Floyd. And, you know, he tried to use the Wing Chun. He tried to kick Floyd even. Floyd's not going to even be there, okay, to be kicked. You know what I mean? It's just not happening. I mean, I, I, I was trying to figure out a way how he could beat Floyd. And using his MMA, of course, he's just too damn slow. It ain't gonna happen. You know what I mean? So, that's what I gotta say. You guys have a great one.